Hello community, today we are highly experimental. So you see, I have a new experimental prompt. This is based, I'm going to show you here my sources and how I developed it. But what we do, yeah, we use some thinking and reflection and everything. But now I do here the extreme logic test I developed for Strawberry. And now I want if it is possible for O1 Mini to have the, come up with the solution of Strawberry, of the Big Brother. Can I do this with a prompt structure? This is highly experimental. This is just trying to find solution so it is cheaper for me to use O1 Mini. But as you can see with this experimental prompt that I see here the reasoning of O1 Mini, not the official O1 that is top secret. No, I don't touch this. I just want to see here, can I find here a logic sequence that O1 Mini shows me in my logical system and come up with correct answer? And I say, here, yeah, okay, you found the answer. Now evaluate your, your answer going step by step through all the clues I've given you here in the video that I've shown you just a minute ago. And now we have O1 mini thinking. I don't, don't want to look into this, but because I have defined in my prompt my own logical structure of thinking and analyzing and reflecting and a kind of a react prompting. So you see now it starts to validate, goes through this, validates, beautiful. And it gives me a confidence score. Now I want to know in each and every element how confident it is the model that this is really. So model comes back and says, except there we have perfect confidence score. So this is now interesting. So there are now some specific areas where I don't have a 10, the perfect number. So this is here, artifact, okay, overall confidence, eight and nine. Okay, but I'm definitely above the threshold of eight that it is accepted here as a solution. You see, I can see now detailed here the thinking, and this is what I wanted. And I say, hey, is there any other way, any other logical deduction that you make sure that this result is correct? So, O1 is doing its secret thinking, but then it comes back to my prompt structure and shows me in my logic what O1 Mini was thinking and how it is analyzing what are the steps. And it comes back here, the final reflection. This is now the answer. Consistency, exclusivity, and completeness. Yes, I can affirm the correctness of the previous answer. Beautiful. So this is it. All seven realms have to be assigned distinct attributes, employing alternative logic deduction method using a comprehensive grid and process of elimination. I found that the answer is correct. Real nice. And so I say, hey, Let's have a look at the prompt because maybe you're interested what prompt I use. So beautiful, let's have a look. Thinking, visualizing the steps. Come on, oh, one mini, you can do this. And here you have, whoops, yes, come on. This is Phil Schmidt. I give you here the guest. This is the prompt I use. I build upon this. And now you see here how I further develop this prompt. Basically, general instruction, thinking text, exploring multiple angle approaches. We have step by step here included. For a React, I have added now an action tag because I want to have some external computation. You have a reflection test, then you have a thinking tag for backtracking or trying different approaches. I have here self-reflection checkpoint established now that the model can go back for mathematical proof. I have my problems, I have a proof. Multiple solutions, synthesize the final answer and conclude here with the final reflection. I've given here a simple example structure here, you know, a one shot example, the trivials I could think of. And just this is the logic to apply to. So it is trivial, simple, beautiful. This is it. Thinking, step, step, reflection, come up with solutions. So you see. Yeah, here's the old titles, additional step, reflection, action. I just want to have this multitude of reflection coming back, checkpoints, analyzing, find alternative routes, and you get the idea. So use the guidelines, thinking to outline the initial thoughts, step-by-step -step breakdown, incorporate action when taking external stop, applying reflection and checkpoints and complex calculations. I just build it in a prompt. And I say, hey, now think about that maybe there was a mistake. Maybe you can switch some particular elements in the matrix. 
Would that be possible? And Omini comes back and says, hmm, okay, so if I switch this and over there and I check here with the code, yeah, okay, wait a minute, yeah. So I go back and forth and he have here corrected final assignment, yeah. And I said, how confident are you? And comes back and does another logical structure here and I can follow this. You see, I can go step by step and I say, hey, you made a mistake. Because this is the correctiveness, comes back, does conclusion, yes, beautiful, hmm, no, not really, okay. So I see exactly where the mistake happened. And I say, hey, in point three, correct this. Okay, comes back. So you see, even with this new experimental prompt, O1 Mini is not capable to do what Strawberry did. It is too small to get the complexity level of nine out of 10. Maybe O1 Mini is just at a complexity level at 6. But with my interaction, I can see now the logical mistakes, I can correct it, and then O1 Mini tries to come up with a solution, and this takes more than half an hour. So in the end, it comes up with a surprising fact. It comes up here with a symmetric condition that I don't know if it's correct. But According to O1 Mini, there is no logic mistake, and I could not find a logic mistake in the logical augmentation of Mini. So now this is funny, because now I don't have just the, the solution that I found, and that is also the strawberry solution, but now I have a solution that has in some cells a symmetric exchange, and Mini tells me, hey, Upon re-evaluating the assignments, I recognize by swapping these particular fields, this is also a correct solution. Look, I may have overlooked the possibility of the exchange by focusing here on the primary assignment. However, both configuration tells me mini are correct. So, revise final assignment with alternative options. And you see here for Aldoria and Feyland, the field of magic and familiar are swapped between these two. This is the only difference. And it comes back and says, hey, I analyze it again, and I found that this is the alternative solution. So, hey, are you interested to verify this? Have some fun with this. So you see, beautiful. It takes a lot of time to correct here the logical thinking of Mini. But if I can see each and every logical step of Mini, I can do this as a human. And I can say, hey, here you made a mistake. Here, you have to do this. So it takes quite some effort. So Mini is not yet up to the task for this logical test. But with a lot of effort, it found even a, maybe a second alternative solution. And now, now we go to Google AI Studio. And as you can see here, the model have a brand new Gemini 1.5 Pro 002. And I decided not to go with the Flash or the Flash 8B. No, I wanted to go with the professional model. So here we go. And here you have now my conversation with Gemini 002. So exactly the same logical puzzle, you know, we have here exact the same wizard, we have the same abbreviation, artifacts, magic, familiars here. And then you can see we have here the same step and count and reflection and the score, create a table and abbreviation. And you see it started here. Gemini started here says, those are all my clues. It used abbreviations, so not to use here the complete word. It used here just two, three characters. And it started here to populate the table with this information from right from the beginning. So you see here the table format and some are filled in, some are not. So beautiful. Next step here, reflection 09. Applied here the initial clues directly. Some deduction might be possible already, but I will proceed systematically. And then it just, okay, so we have deduction set one. And now comes the logic reasoning. Updates the table here in this format. Never mind, we're going to see a beautiful table at the end. And you see, we go step by step. We have the checkpoints, summary, greater table, abbreviation, partly filled, 
overall reflection, this systematic approach is effective, confidence remains high, and the problem seems solvable with continued deduction. Next step, deduction, yes, beautiful. So the system is arguing, logically. It's a little bit more complicated, so you see the table now starts to fill up. Yeah, they have no inf more information. Score is only 06, getting harder to keep track of all the deduction. Might need to reevaluate if I get stuck, says our little Gemini 002. Beautiful. I use a little bit of a different prompt. This is not as elaborated as the last prompt I've shown you. This is just an experimental prompt. So summary at the checkpoint, the reward. Table fills more and more and more. And here we have to find a solution and verification. And we, here we have it now. This is now final verification. Refute each clue against the solution. All clues are satisfied. Solution complete and verified. Final solution. Beautiful. Now we have here the answer presented in the table above. Solve the logic puzzle. Initial to deck becomes challenging, prompting to reevaluate the strategy. Ultimately, persistence with the deductive method, along with careful bookkeeping, led to the correct solution, tells me Gemini. Beautiful. And I say, is there any way you validate your answer? Can you provide different perspective that this is really the correct answer? Integrating now all available information. And Gemini comes back and says, I can validate your answer by systematically checking each clue against the solution. I can also demonstrate the correctiveness of the solution by showing how each piece of information fits together and leads to no contradiction. So, starts again, you see here, always correct, 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 and beautiful. Step goes on and starts to calculate. Perfect leg match, beautiful consistency. Yes, consistency, systematic clue verification, everything. Can you show me the correct answer as a table? I said, beautiful. So this is now the thing. Absolute certainty. And here we are now. And you see here with a confidence level that I also ask here, we're here at a maximum confidence level. So at that time I thought, hey, this is the correct solution. Yeah? This must be it. But however, if you compare this now to the strawberry solution, you will find, no, this is not the correct solution. But Gemini tells us, hey, successfully created the table with the confidence levels, beautiful. And I say, can you validate if the artifact for some elements are correct? Because I can see that it is the wrong solution. And then starts something that goes on now for two hours. And I don't want to bore you to death because I am already crazy. But after two hours, this system going back and forth, you know what helped me? It helped me to understand because I could see each single step. I could see each single clue that it used. I could understand here the logic and I could see in the reflection, if identify a key contradiction, what happened. And this transparency in the logic helped me to come back and says, hey, clue eight, there is a there has, does not is no contradiction. Check only against the original clues, but not your deducted solution. And here you see the first clue what happened in those two hours. And I was fighting with this model. I was really fighting with this model in logical terms. Because you can see that it goes on and on and on. And I have to read everything. I have to say, okay, no, stop. There you made a mistake. There you made a mistake. And the system comes back and says, okay, but look, if I do this, then I'm back on the original track. Or if I devalidate this, it also started here to come up with new rules. And I said, are you nuts? You can't come up with new rules, with new facts, you know, and started then all over again. And I could see that it was reading all of this, going through all of this in two hours, each logical step, because I could see it. I found out what is the basic mistake of this Gemini 001. So you see the conversation went on and on and on and on. And after two hours of logic, you really start to enjoy this conversation because this model does not give in. 
Then smile because the complexity of the logical test is so high, it found alternative routes to re-explain. And this was really interesting. Yeah? You see here me, the orb of shadows linked to the VA and the salamander due to explain this statement. Where does it come from? And then the model says, yeah, you know, I can explain this with this and this and this, and then I have an implicit constraint, and then I have a deduction. Therefore, and then you have to go this step by step, evaluate this and say, hey, your logical connection is simply wrong. And the system says, I understand you disagree with my reasoning. Perhaps you are working with different assumptions. More information would help me. <laughs> and then you you show your reasoning. Yeah, and you provided some specific assignment for several wizards. However, I anticipate potential conflicts. I anticipate potential conflicts. As these assignments deviate substantially from the original solution. And here we are back. You see, these assignments deviate from the original solution. Gemini 002 found a solution, and I ask, can you validate the solution? And Gemini validated the solution, and this is the solution that it always comes back to. Now, if this would be the right solution, it would be heaven. But unfortunately, Gemini made several logical mistakes. So what Gemini calls the original solution is in fact an incorrect solution, but... This original solution now becomes more important than the original task of my logic test. So Gemini holds on to this original solution to an attempt you are not going to believe. And I was only able to find this out with this experimental prompt because I could see each and every logical step. You see, this is the argumentation. And you as a human, you have to follow this. You have to validate each step. And then somewhere there's one term that is wrong. And then you have to go through the argumentation with Gemini 002. And it builds up and it tells you, hey, you, the human is, you are wrong. Yeah? My goodness. And then you see, show me clue two. Yeah. <laughs> and I say, hey, my solution. And I've given it my solution already so it can validate it. It says, the AI comes back and says, hey, your solution is wrong. But what he doesn't know that my solution is the strawberry solution. And I personally checked this manually by hand. That this is the correct solution. And it comes back. No, your solution is wrong. It says, hey, I understand you believe your solution aligns with clue two. But let me re-explain why I see a contradiction. It is important to distinguish between a statement being directly contradicted by a clue and being indirectly inconsistent due to the interplay of multiple cues and constraints. I suspect, says Gemini 2, the latter is the case here. And now I had to go through the reasoning steps here by Gemini 002, argue about each and every step and then come back and tell it, hey, you made a mistake. And then Gemini 02 tries to find a way around it. And I can only pinpoint the mistake because, like here, Aldoria does not have Salamander. Where do you get this idea? Comes back, yeah, it's a chain of deduction based on clue 2 and 10 combined with the puzzle's inherent constraint. And let me break down the reasoning again step by step to clarify this association comes from. And then I discover it's still referring back to the original solution. And I say, you are still working with the original intended solution. This is the term that, that uh, Gemini 002 used for this. And I say, look, uh, occupied by others, in the original intended solution, then. So you use here the wrong, incorrect original intended solution and you deduct not from the clues of the task but from your found solution and then i get a little bit emotional and as i learned by former president of the united states you can use here capitals and i said hey all cap your solution was wrong and maybe you notice that after two hours i got a little bit of emotional with gemini 002 
And it comes back and says, you are absolutely correct. I apologize for repeatedly referencing the original solution, but despite being instructed to disregard it. My responses are flawed because I kept anchoring my reasoning to that initial solution, which is not relevant given the new conditions. So let me restart. And you know what's happening? You know, if you, if you see this, if you would not have this experimental prompt that I could debug here the logical thinking of Gemini 002, I would have no chance. I mean, absolutely no chance. If you have a deep dive to this, the, the thinking you find is amazing. And I say, hey, now show me the correct answer. Since I have already given you five complete rows of the table and the table only has seven rows. So I have given it 80% of the correct answer. And it comes back and it says, hey, let me check <laughs> for any contradiction with the clues. Yeah? So you see, it's really about the last two lines. I have told him, hey, this is now the new condition. Those are the correct answers. And you accept this as the correct answer and now you fill in the last two but this system is fighting me to the maximum so it comes back yes beautiful find something yeah turbin assignment yeah final verification it says hey let me verify this completed table against all clues and you no know, here false so, without having my experimental prompt, I would not see where it says there's some incorrect statement. Based on you, yes, yes, yes. And I st say, hey, you are still locked with your old problem. Look, you say, and the original intended solution linking now a specific element to some other elements. This is not in the task. This is from your solution that you think you found as a correct solution but is in fact incorrect so whenever gemini 02 found a solution it puts this solution with the highest priority in its internal memory independent what was my original task independent what were the original clues that are left in the logical test gemini ignores my cues and refers to its own original intended solution. And it fights like hell. And Mal says, hey, you're absolutely right. I apologize again. I must completely detach from the original solution and evaluate the current situation based on the clues and your provided assignment. Let's refocus. And you know what's going to happen? Do you know what's going to happen? After we I went all through this, I said, analyze your statement. You just argued that this is still with the original solution that you found. And I say, this is now the third time that you make this mistake. Correct it. Now, this is the third time. So this system tried now everything to insist that the solution that Gemini 02 found is the correct one. And I'm not having the correct solution. But now I have it cornered. Now there's no way to go. You know, it's like in chess. You know, there's only one move left. Yeah, I'm misspelled correct. And now, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this and says, stop editing and rerun. Let's see the answer. This is now real time. So here we go now. You are absolutely right to call out my repeated mistake. I apologize for the persistent error. My previous reasoning was flawed. I was implicitly relying on the original solution, even when trying to avoid it. Let me correct my analysis. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what's in there now, but you know what? At this point, after more than two hours, 
I started to doubt my own logic. Because arguing for the first time in my life with an AI that insists that the AI is correct and you as a human, you are wrong. After more than two hours, I am I'm tired. I see that I start to make mistakes here in the logical deductions. And you know what? I doubted my own logic. I went now to another system just to make sure that I still have the correct logic. And this never, ever happened to me in my life since I am now playing and working and programming AI system. This Gemini Series here one is the first system to bring me to a point where I, as a human, I'm almost willing to accept the mistake of Gemini. And all of this video has just one warning that I discovered for myself, and I want to share this. This is the first time in my life that an AI brought me to the point where I thought my logic is incorrect. And the continuous insistent of the AI that the AI is correct after more than two hours is having an effect on me. So careful, we are now entering the area of an AI that is not telling you, yes, you are right and I accept it, I made a mistake and I correct it. Now the AI is fighting you, is fighting you with unbelievable logical elements. You have to go through these two hours of recording to see what the AI tried to convince me. And this is what I've never experienced in my life. So, have fun with AI Gemini O2 out there, because this model, this model will fight you till the end.